Today's episode we gonna talk about 12 types of salt and how to use each. Salt has long been used for flavoring and for preserving food. It has also been used in tanning, dyeing, and bleaching, and the production of pottery, soap, and chlorine. Today, it is widely used in the chemical industry. Let's take a look at 12 different types of salt and what they're best for. Number 1. Table salt, the most common is harvested from salt deposits found underground. It's highly refined and finely ground, with impurities and trace minerals removed in the process. It's also treated with an anti-caking agent to keep from clumping. Most table salt is iodized, meaning iodine has been added to prevent iodine deficiency, which can and does, in much of the world cause hypothyroidism and other maladies. Number 2. Koshering salt or kosher salt, in the US is flakier and coarser grained than regular table salt. Its large grain size makes it perfect for sprinkling on top of meat, where it releases a surprising blast of flavor. Kosher salt also dissolves quickly, making it a perfect all-purpose cooking salt. However, most kosher salt does not contain any added iodine, and only rarely any anti-caking agents. Despite the name, all kosher salt is not certified kosher. Rather, it's used in the koshering process when surface fluids are removed from meat through desiccation. Number 3 Sea Salt Sea salt is harvested from evaporated sea water. Sea salt is usually unrefined and coarser grained than table salt. It also contains some of the minerals from where it was harvested zinc, potassium and iron among them, which give sea salt a more complex flavor profile. Sea salt is a pretty broad term, as it includes some of the specialty salts described below. Sprinkle it on top of foods for a different mouthfeel and bigger burst of flavor than table salt. Number 4 Himalayan Pink Salt Himalayan salt is the purest form of salt in the world, and is harvested by hand from Kura salt mine in the Himalayan mountains of Pakistan. Its color ranges from off-white to deep pink. Rich in minerals it contains the 84 natural minerals and elements found in the human body. Himalayan salt is used in spa treatments, as well as the kitchen. Himalayan salt retains temperature for hours, and unfinished pieces often appear in shops as lamps. Number 5. Celtic Sea Salt. Also known as Cell Gris French for grey salt, Celtic Sea Salt is harvested from the bottom of tidal ponds off the coast of France. The salt crystals are raked out after sinking, this, plus the mineral-rich seawater it's extracted from, gives Celtic salt its moist, chunky grains, grey hue, and briny taste. Celtic sea salt is great on fish and meat as both a cooking and finishing salt, as well as for baking. Number 6. Fleur de sel. Literally flower of salt, fleur de sel is a sea salt hand harvested from tidal pools off the coast of Brittany, France. Paper-thin salt crystals are delicately drawn from the water's surface, much like cream is taken from milk. This can only be done on sunny, dry days with a slight breeze, and only with traditional wooden rakes. Because of its scarcity and labor-intensive harvesting, fleur de sel is the most expensive salt five pounds will run you a cool eighty dollars. It retains moisture and has blue-gray tint from its high mineral content and oceanic beginnings. If you can afford it, use fleur de sel as a finishing salt to add an impressive dash of flavor to meat, seafood, vegetables, even sweets like chocolate and caramel. Number 7. Kola Namak. Kola Namak black salt in Nepalese is Himalayan salt that's been packed in a jar with charcoal, herbs, seeds and bok, then fired in a furnace for a full 24 hours before it's cooled, stored, and aged. This process gives kola, namak its reddish-black color, its pungent, salty taste and a faint, sulfurous aroma of eggs. It's often used in vegan and vegetarian dishes to give egg-free dishes the taste of egg, as well as in Ayurvedic practice. Number 8. Flakes Salt. Harvested from salt water through evaporation, boiling, or other means, flake salt is thin and irregularly shaped with a bright, salty taste and very low mineral content. This shapes means the crunchy flake salt dissolves quickly, resulting in a pop of flavor. 
of the different types of salt, use it as a finishing salt, especially on meats. Number 9. Black Hawaiian Salt. Also known as black lava salt, black Hawaiian salt is a sea salt harvested from you guessed at the volcanic islands of Hawaii. It gets its deep, black color from the addition of activated charcoal. Coarse-grained and crunchy, black Hawaiian salt is great for finishing pork and seafood. Number 10. Red Hawaiian Salt. Hawaiian red salt is an unrefined sea salt that has been mixed with an iron oxide, rich volcanic clay, called alia, which gives the seasoning its characteristic brick red color, used for centuries in ceremonial ways for cleansing, purification and the blessing of tools. Red Hawaiian salt is also great in the kitchen, adding an attractive finish and robust flavor to seafood and meat, as well as traditional island dishes. Number 11. Smoked Salt. Slow smoked up to two weeks over a wood fire, usually hickory, mesquite, apple, oak, or alder wood, smoked salt adds an intense and, yes, smoky flavor to dishes. Smoked salt is the best of the different types of salt to use for flavoring meats and heartier vegetables, like potatoes. Lust. Number 12. Pickling salt. Used for pickling and brining, pickling salt does not contain any added iodine or anti-caking agents, nor many of the trace minerals of sea salt, which can cause ugly discoloration of the preserved food.